Hi there, and it is such a great privilege for me to be talking to really one of the, the most admired people, certainly in my life, but in many other people's lives. Mm -hmm. um, her father uh, said that uh, she was the best preacher in the family. And New York Times said, well, she's one of the top five evangelists of her generation. And I just, you know, there's certain people uh, that are so um, out there doing great things. And then you've never heard a negative word about them. And Ann Graham Lotz is one of those people. And I'm so mm -hmm. happy to have her here. And uh, welcome uh, to our Facebook Live. And then uh, so grateful you're going to be on our broadcast also. But welcome and thank you for joining me for a few minutes. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad to, Steve. Thank you. It's a privilege to talk with you. Well, I've been having these little chats because uh, during this time, New Life, we've tried to do everything we can to help people uh, as we're kind of in this limbo and uh, we're hunkered down and, and all of that. And you've written a, a new book, and, and it, I love the title, Jesus in Me. And it's a book about uh, the Holy Spirit. And you... Um, Surely you have been asked over and over again what your opinion is about this epidemic, pandemic. Is it punishment? Is it a gift? Whatever. I'd just like you to minister to the folks that are watching for a few minutes about what you know, what you've learned, what you think, uh, and, and how they can best get through it. You know, there are two issues, Steve, that I think uh, would need to be addressed. And one is the tremendous loneliness that seems to be um, escalating because so many people are locked down. And if you have a loved one that's sick and they go to the hospital, you can't go there. I even heard of a newborn yeah. baby had to go back to the hospital and the mother couldn't go to be with the baby. So so it's, oh. um, it's a time of isolation. And, and that's where the Holy Spirit comes in, of course, because uh, I've been in the last four and a half years um, you know, on something of a road that included loneliness, or it could have. My husband yes. went to heaven, my father went to heaven, I was diagnosed with cancer, went through all those treatments, and but the Holy Spirit has never left me. He's been my constant companion. And so that's, the, the book, Jesus and Me, comes out of that um, experience. And I, I finished writing and editing it while I was going through the cancer treatments. So it was very fresh and felt like God used it to bless me by keeping me focused on the one who is uh, promised that he'll never leave me nor forsake me. And he is actually Jesus without his man's body, but Jesus living inside of me. So, mm. um, so that's one issue. The other issue about what's going on now, which has forced us uh, into our homes, um, you know, if I can put it this way, and I'll try to do it as gently as I can, um, I believe God has been warning us that he's... Um, Getting very, imp he's running out of patience with our sin and our rebellion, and I believe this is the beginning, not just of a warning, but a possible judgment. And and uh, if you, you know, you go in back of the the all of the rules and the laws that tell us to go home, and um, but it has to be more than just the fear of the virus that keeps us home, because. Who's ever heard of quarantining well people? You know, I, I believe yeah. the back of it is God who's put us all on a Sabbath rest. And I believe his primary reason is that he wants us to be quiet. He wants us to look up. He wants us to give him his full, uh, our full attention. And I believe it's time, Steve, for God's people to do business with God. You know, we've had events. We've had prayer meetings. We've had all sorts of church things. and mm -hmm. But... But God's people need to do business. And it's interesting, we quote Second Chronicles 7, 14, but verse 13 says, When I send a plague among my people, he says, Then if my people, called by my name, will humble themselves, pray, seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then I'll hear from heaven, I'll forgive their sin, and heal their land. And I believe the message right now from God to his people is it's time to get right with him. It's time to repent of our sin. It's time to rend our hearts, as Joel says. And and I believe time is running out. But but it may be, as Joel chapter 2 says, it may be, even at this late date, if we did that as God's people, if we truly turn to him in repentance um, and, and crying for his mercy, that he would hear us, that he would forgive yeah. us, and that he would heal us. You know, so that's 
it's a lot that's riding on this. Yes, and I believe if I, we don't get it in this pandemic, if something worse is going to come down the pike. Yeah, I, you know, uh, whether um, it is a direct judgment or prejudgment, or it certainly isn't beyond God to get it's our like attention. It's like a passive judgment, the, yeah. Yeah, and, and you know, um, if there's ever in my whole lifetime a, a time when it was the death of so much idolatry, I mean, financial security yeah. gone, job security yeah. gone, yeah. Um, yeah. just so many things, and it is such a clear path to God mm -hmm. through the Holy Spirit is what I, I like to say. And, you know, I, I read a book by Bill Bright about the Holy Spirit years ago. And, and essentially he was saying, we need to invite the Holy Spirit to empower us, mm -hmm. to comfort us. Mm -hmm. Don't you think uh, through all of this, that if we would truly uh, allow the Holy Spirit to mm -hmm. act and, and we would rely upon the Holy Spirit, we would have a different kind of relationship with God. Absolutely. And I, I want to make it clear, Steve, that, and I know there are differences of opinion on this, but I believe sure. when I received Jesus by faith as my Savior, I was a, a girl of uh, eight or nine years of age. It was on Good Friday. I saw a picture of Jesus mm -hmm. on television. I, when it came to the cross, I knew he had died for me, and I asked him to forgive me of my sin and come into my heart. And and I invited Jesus into my heart because I didn't know about the Holy Spirit. And later, yeah. as an adult studying the scriptures, I found when I asked Jesus to come into my heart, he came in in the person of the Holy Spirit. Yes. So the person right. of the Holy Spirit, I didn't get him in pieces. So I had all of the Holy Spirit I would ever have when I was a little girl. But, but the Holy Spirit seems to get us in pieces. You know, so we'll give yeah. him... Sunday morning at church, but not Monday morning at the office. So we give him, right. you know, Wednesday night in prayer meeting, but not Saturday night with our friends. And, and we pick and choose um, what we give the Holy Spirit. And so what you're saying, I believe, and, and during this pandemic, God has stripped away a lot of things that, that demanded our attention. And, and I believe it's time to surrender completely to the, the person of the Holy Spirit, that every area of our lives, every little nook and cranny, those deep recesses that we don't even like to look into, you know, we just ask him to fill us. And if the Holy Spirit fills us, I can testify to you that you will have comfort. You will have peace. You will yes, have strength right. for the next step. And, and that true. sense of loneliness would be, um, we'll, we'll, we'll have, um, you know, God has put us the lonely in families. And so we need to be with other people. But at the same time, the Holy Spirit can take the edge off of that loneliness just by the awareness of his presence. Absolutely. Well, um, I wish we had more time. I just want to uh, let people know, uh, you know, Anne has a, a wonderful ministry, Angel Ministries. The book is Jesus in Me. If you call 1-800-NEW-LIFE, uh, we can get a copy to you. It's, a, it's an amazing book about the Holy Spirit. And if you uh, look on uh, May the 6th, you'll see that Anne, on our website, that Anne was on our broadcast on May 6th. And you can listen to that where she is ministering to folks. But I think the message here from Anne and from all of us is let's use this time. Let's do the right thing. Let's ask for help from other people. And let's ask for the Holy Spirit who does fill us when we accept Christ. Ask him to comfort us, empower us to do what is so difficult for us to do. I am so grateful to be with you, Anne, and I'll encourage uh, everybody that is watching on Facebook Live or just listening uh, to be sure and and at least look at this book, Jesus in Me, and what it might be able to do for you. A lot of really powerful, smart people have endorsed this book, and uh, it is a, a wonderful, wonderful way to spend some time here transforming your life by changing the way that you think, starting to think on the truth of God right out of scripture. So um, God and bless you. And add, Steve, let me just add yes, one, can please. I add one word? And it's just this, that, that God loves you and everybody who's listening, watching on Facebook Live, God loves you. And Jesus mm. told his disciples, I'm not going to leave you as orphans. I'm not going to leave you alone. I'm going to ask the Father to send you the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit is God's gift of love to you and me. Um, so Amen. I just want to underscore what you're saying. This is a time to get to know him and develop a strong faith in, uh, in our relationship with God. 
Well, thank you, Ann. And her website is Ann, that's with an E, A N N E, Graham Lots, L O T Z dot org. And uh, it is a wonderful place. You can sign up for a lot of great Bible study and devotional material and the other things that she's doing. And uh, God bless you, Ann. And all of you, thanks thank for you. Uh, joining me. And I'll see you right here again next time for more of our coronavirus chats. Mm -hmm.